up all of my friends that have dicks that would fit through a fruit loop you ready for spawn issue number 241 let's go so sarah susan and mark have brought jim downing into like a meeting sort of where they want to talk about the problems that he has he doesn't seem like he's all right and he's been very distant jim tries to pretend that he's fine but then he notices a painting of himself behind him and this is obviously one of blood's merchandise pieces and then they explain how he can't be alright with this, and he can't pretend that he's alright with it, because Blood is taking advantage of him. And they want to help Jim Downing because it doesn't only affect him, it affects them as well. And after that, Jim Downing reveals that he used to be married to everyone and that Mark had the photo. They want Jim to tell them his secrets, but he doesn't want to tell them all of his secrets, because he knows he can't. Then he gets to a flashback with Cogliostro, and he essentially doesn't remember what happened because his symbiote was in control of him at that time. So, he resurrects Cogliostro in an instant by asking him to get up. And after Cogliostro gets back up, he asks Jim Downing, how long have you had those wings and the costume at the same time? Jim Downing's confused, he doesn't really know, and then he thinks about it, and Cog's like, no, you have to remember, the world depends on it. And then Jim Downing's like, well, right now is when I got them. And he's like, all right, then we need to get back to the dead zone. And once they're in it, Cog realizes that they don't just want Jim Downing's symbiote. They want him because he's a direct link to heaven. And then everyone realizes that Jim has slightly discovered his past. And he says, yes, but most of it's ugly, unfortunately. And Susan wants to know Jim Downing's real name. And he's like, damn it, Susan. I don't give a fuck what you want to know. You're always asking shit about me. Sarah defends Susan, saying that Jim didn't have to snap like that. Then Mark goes up to him and says, don't you ever give that attitude to Susan again, or I'll take you down myself. And Jim's like, whoa there, big guy. And as Mark and Susan walk out, Susan asks Mark about the pictures and Jim's wife and all of that shit. And Mark's like, yeah, I knew about it, but I kind of didn't. So, uh, I guess not really. Then Susan thanks him for standing up for her like that. After that, we move back to Sarah and Jim. And Sarah's like, dude, the way you're acting isn't healthy. You gotta stop that shit. And then Jim's like, yeah, I know, not now, Wanda. And then Sarah's like, who's Wanda? I'm not Wanda, who is she? And he's like, I, I don't know. Solomon and Blood walk across these dark hallways and shit like that. And Blood's like, yeah, I guess Cogliostro's back. He's the one who took out security. And Solomon's like, damn, well, I guess he acquired new powers while he was sitting on Hell's throne. He kind of thinks this is a trap, and he notices Blood walking into this glowing fucking area. And Blood's like, yeah, you're always a skeptic, Solomon. Just follow me. And when Solomon finally enters the dead zone, he's like, no way, this can't be possible. And Blood's like, yes, a dead zone. And Solomon's like, do you know what we could do with this? If we join forces, can you imagine the look on God's face? And Solomon asks, God's face? Seeing it, is it possible? And then Blood says, I'm sure it is. After that, Blood has a meeting on a rooftop with two, like, workers of this guy. And they're like, yeah, your financial partner doesn't like you working outside of his bounds and not letting him know. Or not sharing with him. Blood says he's paid in full, and that's all he gets. And then the other guys say, no, that's not really how this works. Mr. Gibbons takes what he wants. So, Blood obviously gets super pissed and says, if he threatens me again, I'll take out his wife kids his whole family and then we skip back to solomon waiting in the dead zone and they're like well am i still like who's he meeting with they're like i don't know and he's like damn how long am i waiting here for and they're like guys what the hell is that and the redeemer suddenly comes out of nowhere fucking them all in the ass okay he doesn't fuck them in the ass but he like chops them in half and that my friends wraps up spawn issue number 241 like the video if you enjoyed the video if you didn't enjoy the video don't be a pussy like the video i'll see you guys in the next one Bye.